exposure. Your alarm <laughs> exposure. Yeah, your alarm is Where exposed. Where are you, dude? Here. I'm here. <laughs> here I am. Hey. <laughs> here I am. I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. This is my bony ass elbow against your bony ass knee. I keep waiting for you to kick me in the face. <laughs> Should I come back up there? No, it's fine. Just don't kick me in the face. <laughs> Maybe I should come back up there. Little Caesars. <laughs> I came on this trip because um, I think when you spend a lot of time in one location, you start to forget that there's still stuff out there. I usually am in it for an experience. I'm in it to feel something that is hard to get, something that you have to work for. I'm a uh, a strong proponent of the belief of work hard, play hard. This, to me, is, is playing hard. It's hard. Which direction is southwest? <laughs> Sun's setting there. I'm assuming south is that way. So that would be southwest. Probably this way. Southwest. southwest. So you're gonna say the exact opposite. Maybe it... I'm thinking that way. Yeah, that probably is south. Yeah, you're 100% right. and then down here, but the wind will hopefully go over. Can you demonstrate what you're talking about? Probably attach it somewhere. you guys expected when you wanted to go camping in a desert. I don't want to have 
a day off where I'm not doing something that challenges me, that pushes me to that moment where it's like, oof, do we just turn around? Do we keep going? Doing this is one of the best ways that I've found for me personally to feel like life has more to offer than a nine to five and a nice car and stuff like that. We ended up needing to uh, switch our location. We were up there on top of that ridge, as you can see where we descended. Uh, we had to we had to descend down into a deeper valley because I'm sorry my camera's a little expo overexposed right now but we, uh, we had to do this pretty quick. First time that we've ever had to use this many stakes but the wind, the wind was destroying the tent. Uh, this is probably the only thing we could have done to actually save the tent from being literally just dismantled by the wind. Sir, would you state your, your feelings on the matter, please? I was uh, highly skeptical to begin with. <laughs> I'm, not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. Um, How do you feel now? I feel good now. Okay. After setting the spider web up, spider web of protection, um, it's, it's holding. We're not, we're not scared anymore. <laughs> the only thing that entertains me anymore is pushing myself to higher heights, struggling and feeling manageable pain that I can work myself through to get to the next summit or whatever it is. this sand in here. This place looks abandoned. Itself up over oh, here. Look at that, puts itself away. Ooh, what? No, oh, wait, actually, yeah. Where are you? 
Hey, buddy. Ready? Yeah, I'm still plugged into the ground over here, but all right. Oh, let's just fold it up and unplug it from the ground. This tent is not really attached anymore. Quick, well, there's no wind. Put your corners together. Nope. It's a raven.
check like the, the course that you take from Bluff to the Grand Canyon? No. You're right, Mom. I should just stay at home and work. Yeah, this isn't working. This is a Yeah, I'm sorry for all the trouble I put you through taking care of my dog, Dad. I'm sober, dude. You're getting gold over. Piece of shit. Look at this little stop. Yeah, he's like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. Truck he's, been, he's been not doing this for a while. Hey, slow down, dude. Yeah, dude. We're gonna make it. He needs to save somebody's ass. Just in case you need to eat someone's ass. For survival. Getting stuck out here is suck. Make sure you drive with caution, dude. we don't here. I feel like I've got a better chance of starting to slide than he does, but... You got service, huh? <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> Benjamin texted me. What was that game you used to play on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Night Mobile or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll text you in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> that is racist. They, they kill you, dude. They straight up kill you. It's not acceptable. Yeah, no, it's not good.
<laughs> He's like, look guys, this is how you get stuff.
Cheers to bean water. Cheers. Cheers. I'll just sit here and then just be like. <sighs> Let's turn this lump of ass into a diamond. I feel like smelling other dudes' piss. Adidas. <laughs> Probably not gonna get sponsored. <laughs> I forgot my mug, okay? <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess we could just go up there with or without the trail. We could just hike it. I kind of want to see that. I'm sure there's parts of a trail too that the uh, bears have left us for us. AJ wants to go up to that little cave. Mostly this one though. You think it's real or you think it's just like a divot? That crack? No, it's even further up up to the left more. It's probably behind this tree. Can we get to it or is it like in the face? I think we could, it'd be easier than getting to that green one up there. Oh yeah, that's probably impossible. Yeah, you'd need Spider-Man on your side. That green one almost looks like it's placed in the center of a, like the body of a bear. Like there does look like there's a creature that, and the hole is like smack dab in the middle of the spine. See the arms going like this and the head going up like that? Yeah.
A shell? All right. <laughs> the fuck? It's super fragile. Let me see. Weird. <laughs> Where'd you find it? Like right on that rock. <laughs> Probably right under my feet here. Was this the ocean? Are we in the ocean right now? <laughs> I don't think so. us is probably because whenever we go like one of these really hard places we just kind of tackle it like like good old Missouri boys going cave-in like our backyard <laughs> yeah we tackle it like it's the only option yeah so like we don't wear like the designer gear or have yeah. all the most expensive tools or go like the most you know the most like uh What's the word? The typical route. Yeah, the typical route. The route they want you to take. We're just some dudes in vans. <laughs> climbing mountains. <laughs> Empty specifically. <laughs> in hoodies and fucking little pants. Little pants. Little pants. Little camo pants. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's it's an element of necessity. I don't have the necessary stuff, but it's necessary for me to be at the top of this mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe if they labeled their fucking maps, they wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or had a trail to actually the cool part. I'm buried. Do big cats bury their poop too? I don't know. <clears throat> what? Andy says he might need to get a Subi. I'm just driving by and he's like, dang, so I know pretty nice. <laughs> Looking at getting a WRX now. Yeah, I know a gay guy with a WRX. <laughs> think I think we got to go up and around stay next to the cliff
It looks like a different planet. You guys want some dried mango slices? Yeah, you want some water? Capturing a moment for you guys to remember. This documentary is really about you guys, to be honest. Every story has a star, dude. It's Jonah, it's Jonah in this one. <laughs> I'm not really scared up here, but what I am scared of and what I started getting nervous about back there was descending. Yeah, that was uh, a part where we were literally rock climbing. But I'm only scared because of the snakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not too worried about falling. Like right here I am, like I can feel my legs shaking. Just because we're so high and I just climb. afraid my camera's going to fall. If it does, it's off the mountain. <laughs> I'm going to move it. <laughs> I definitely got flooded by a couple of those. Yeah, I got flooded too. Let me try to see how blooded I am, but I don't want to take all my clothes off. Yeah, I got my long or do I? On. They're just like pinholes. Yeah, it's too tight. Punch right through the snake. Yeah, I got a warm up finger there. I'm sure I got three or four on the legs. These mango slices are busting. <laughs> I think we brought them on like every single trip. <laughs> They're kind of a staple at this point. You eat mangoes at the top of mountains. <laughs> it's a little reward. Maybe you should name this mountain Mango Mountain. Since the map is so bad, it doesn't have a name. Yeah. This is Mango Mountain. You think we should try to take pretty much the same way back down? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Better off going something that you're used to. Also, this is far more likely to have snakes because it's been baking in the sun all morning. It's 11.45. So I think we did get up here in about an hour and a half, hour 45. That's a good time. Not bad. No idea how far it was, but right. yeah. We can check that when we get back down too. I mean, I let me put this, a pin here on my phone. This range is, I think, pretty close to 8,000 feet tall. So I'm just gonna put a pin where we're at. That way, when we hike back, it will tell us how far it was. I have the smallest desire to go up there, but I don't know if it's enough to make me do it. <laughs> Look at that bird. Dang, look at that bird. There's two of them down there. Nothing else makes me feel this way. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing that quite beats eating mango on a mountaintop. With your bestest pals. With your most. Manly men. It's your most manly men. <laughs> Gather most. three men and go. Cherish ch children. <laughs> your Cheryl's children. Your most Cheryl's children. In your jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're a funny guy, pal. <laughs> funny guy. Is it making love? Look at his wings. It's gotta be some sort of hawk. It's probably like, I haven't seen your kind up here in a while. What are you guys doing? Why are you guys here? Maybe I'll find a little stone from up here. No taking stones. Yeah, it's illegal to be prohibited. We'll get banned. <laughs> Super park ranger. Such just pull up. Chairs. Thank <laughs> you.
I guess for me, personally, the thing that comes to mind when I'm when I've made it, you know, I'm at the top. The biggest thing that comes to mind for me is I can sum it up in one word, appreciation. One of my biggest things whenever I go somewhere is one of the biggest questions I ask is what is there to do there? You know, like what is what is there to do? People are too comfortable right now. In general, I think a lot of people become comfortable and then they they stay put or they don't learn new things, they don't push themselves, they stay in the same job, they stay in the same city, they stay in the same house. I appreciate this, the view, once you finally make it to the top. I appreciate the journey so much and I appreciate the people that are willing to challenge themselves with you. I think about this. I think about mountains, massive rivers, camping in bear country, seeing things that I've never seen before. The reason we're here and the reason why this is enjoyable is because I've gotten used to pushing myself when I'm not comfortable. I've gotten used to feeling that, that fear and using it in a way that motivates me and a way that lets me get to the next peak or lets me climb up the next bluff or lets me just push myself a little bit further. I appreciate the fact that my big brothers invite me their little brother because I am I'm the little brother, man. I appreciate that they still shoot me that invite and that they invite me up on these mountains, that they invite me on these trips and that we can all experience it together and then we can sit around the campfire and we can be like, hey, do you remember this hike? Do you remember that trip? Do you remember this camp? Do you remember this? Do you remember that? Even if I'm climbing this same mountain day after day, I'd probably see something new every day. And maybe that's why, you know, we're different. It's because we don't even answer the same questions the same way as other people. And obviously everybody's limits are different. Everybody has to start somewhere. Um, this wouldn't be a hike that I recommend to somebody who's just starting. Uh, but for me, there's a, there's a lot of power that I feel from being up here. There's a lot of just limits that even on a hike like this that I'm already pushing. I'm already thinking about like, well, if I can do this, what's next? And it's all these memories that we all have, slightly different memories of every single moment. Even the journey up here, I took a slightly different path than they did. I appreciate so much about these trips and these journeys. And I don't think there's any other way that I would, I would want to be or any other type of person that I would want to spend time with. I like to just sit and feel it all. It feels good. <laughs> Do hard things. Do hard things. <laughs> <laughs>